today in uh, at Yahoo, there's an article about uh, what makes people powerful. And uh, there's a new book out, Power, Why Some People Have It and Others Don't, by Jeffrey Pfeiffer of the Stanford University Graduate School of Business. And he cites research to explain the traits that build power. Uh, they asked Pfeiffer to pair some of his lessons about power with Forbes heavy hitters from politicians, technical, technology uh, moguls who possess them. But I think this study is flawed, and I don't think that this guy knows what he's talking about at all. No, people think that I'm a negative guy, but out there there's so much stupidness going on, and so many things they write that, I mean, with good conscience, you can't just go endorsing things and saying, I support this, and without explaining something or showing why this thing is right. At this point in time in history, when TV shows that are popular are ones that... Um, are about stupid stuff and, and, and frivolity and, and people who are brainless and morons, then, I mean, we live in a, in a dangerous time. However, um, this study fails to examine some important factors. For example, when I was in Canada, they were saying that um, black people are highly unemployed because they lack the educational and, you know, employable skills. So I said, look, I want to do a study for myself. I want to find out. They're telling me, no, 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 no. The study has already been done. This is the information. Work with it. Now, for me, when I went to Canada, I went with two Associate of Arts and a Bachelor's. Associate of Arts in, in Pre-Med, Associate of Arts in Accounting, and a, social, and a, business, a Bachelor's in Business Administration. Now, when I applied for a job, they would say, uh, do you have Canadian experience? No, first of all, they start off by looking at your, your application. Oh, you finished high school? Did you finish high school? Yep. Did you go to college? Yep. Do you have an associate of arts? Yep. Anything else? I have a bachelor's. Oh, you have a bachelor's. All right. Um, do you have Canadian experience? Well, I don't understand what this Canadian experience thing is about. This is a criteria that they could use to discriminate against you. I had a business and I was doing very well. And... <coughs> No, I was like in the income tax business. I was competing with H&R Black. I had like a thousand people within uh, a short space of time, probably about 10 weeks or so. Uh, H&R Black, uh, they were scrunching. But then the government, the, the police began to focus on me. And uh, when you go to the Inland Revenue or the Canada Revenue Service, uh, they gave me some problems. For example, one guy I bought his refund for $3,000. They sent the intermediate, intermediate paperwork to him. He brought it to me. I said, look, we paid this guy this money, and you need to send the paperwork to us. Change the address. They did change it. But you know what they did? They ended up sending the check to this guy, and the guy brought the check to me. No, I gave him 100 bucks out of it. The owner of the money said, you should just tell him thanks. So, you see, they, they, they undermine your business. Now, um, with this study, what he fails to understand, too, that there are a whole bunch of uh, niches and, and a whole bunch of uh, network that go down. How do you acquire a big uh, a job in a, in a corporation? First of all, you might have to go to Harvard or Yale. Now, um, we have Bill Gates and we have Zuckerberg who did not graduate. They were at Harvard, I understand. So that uh, you would have thought that if they graduated, they had a chance. Now, you say they come up with stuff. But both of them, you know, people stuff that took and that did all kind of you know, copyright real quick and all this kind of stuff, right? So, but then also you need to be a part of the secret societies. Maybe a lodge, maybe uh, making political contributions, perhaps handsome, and, and, and a whole bunch of other things than just a person having um, ability and skills. So, when they're looking at powerful people, look, look, look again, on the other hand, we have um, Donald Trump. He's one of the biggest real uh, real estate moguls in the world, perhaps. But look at this guy. I mean, does he demonstrate to you that he has what it takes to be a mogul? Well, he had maybe a parent who had connections, connected him, he got into an area, and he yabba, 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 and then he's accepted. And so even when he was on bankruptcy, he was able to get favorable terms, and he was able to write it out. No. Um, there are many black people who have big bucks and they invest in real estate and when they get slammed, they got slammed and nobody was there to bail them out. Look OJ for example, OJ was one of the pioneers in making big bucks. As a big footballer, he was the spokesman for Hertz. 
one day I saw uh, when I was in Canada, he just coming through, and so I asked, "Who is this guy?" And she says, "You don't know me, he's OJ. He is a, a great football player." So next thing you know, he's in jail, he's charged with murder and all this kind of stuff, and a whole bunch of intrigue. So um, when you're a black person, you have that kind of ability that could build power and that you could become a big, you know, mogul or whatever. You're targeted. The government, you know, you have the the cops going to be rising up and locking you up. They're going to try to buy into your business and got you, you know, discredited or thrown in jail and then they take over your business. So that this study basically is just just like boxing. Uh, here's the world champ, but you don't know how he became a world champ. He was with the right manager, he was the right, uh, who has contacts and, and, and they exclude people who are really good and they beat him up and they guide him along to get a soft guy who you never know what to talk about and so on, you know. So I, I don't know what to say about this study. Um, I, it looks and it looks obvious that this is what is happening, but when you look beyond the scenes, you'll discover that it's far beyond. A lot of these people that are very powerful and, and, and so on, um, they don't have what it takes. And, and the others who don't are the ones that have it, perhaps. I mean, in my case, for example, I should have been the richest guy in the world. I pioneered clean coal burning technology. This is a, a trillion dollar deal, okay? But there's no way they're going to allow a black guy to handle that kind of money, control that kind of money. So there you go. Uh, I, I think this study is just flawed and uh, uh, it's just uh, an article that is self-serving and, and perhaps uh, trying to show that um, certain race of people are the smartest on the planet. But let me say this lastly, that in every race, you have people who have ability and who can move to the next level. But as the as things stand, it's only the white folks who can get that break. So uh, it looks as if the white folks are the smartest out there. And then they're bringing on the Asians and showing that they're smart too. And, and rarely blacks get a chance. So there you go.